Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Heretics Fork, the horde survival roguelike deck building tower defense game that I'm excited to be checking out the prologue demo for here today. We'll pop on in, but first I have a demon clippy on my title screen to check out here. A new recruit. Click me, I dare you. Oh, uh, great. You can follow basic instructions. That's a start. Welcome to the Heretics Fork demo. I'm Clippy, and my job is to turn you into an adequate employee. I'll pop up from time to time to help you out. You can disable me in the options menu, but I won't like it. Okay. Uh, select an employee. Hired. Just an intern with no special abilities and starts with a randomized basic deck to get you started. Opening rift. Alerting sinners. Adding task to list. Scanning user. Okay. Uh... Okay, these look like they cost three. Create a sniper tower, an additional shooty tower. It looks like if we have... Oh, do we just put it anywhere? The two towers that are the same type and quality can, can be combined into a more powerful one. I'm assuming I'll want to do that. Theoretically, we are out of things to do here. Okay. So now we let the towers sort of just do their thing for a bit. I feel like I'm regretting the fact that I just... Is it, can, I, can I do something with it? No. I'm regretting combining, I think. Where's, like, my, my health? Is, is it this? This is your tower's HP. When it reaches zero, the run will end. So it's about to get hit again. Currently, I can't do anything. So I think that... Um, when the bar is full, you will draw more cards. Gotcha. So it's kind of really in the kind of auto battley territory like the very much the tower defense territory uh i read somewhere that there are apparently active cards as well that you potentially can get uh can this tower aim a little bit better like it'd be one thing if it actually was accurate okay that was a lot active create a dark mark enemies that pass over it will get cursed they re okay increase tower range Increase the AoE of all projectile towers. Increase the damage of all tower projectiles. Sure. We'll do that. And then we'll create a dark mark. Actives can be used even when it's not your turn. They can also be set to auto-use by shift-clicking. Okay. So you can go play with your Legos or whatever humans do. Well, all right. I'll say I'm going to just turn it down a smidge. It's not that it's particularly too loud. It's just very, uh, you know, you know, one of those. Uh, create a dark mark that enemies pass over. When they get cursed, cursed enemies recover 1% one HP, 1 HP on death. I have no idea, man. I really wish I had, like, a different tower, because just the one, and the fact that it can't hit for anything. I can't do anything about it. There's not... I can't... I can't make it better. That being said, we have a lot of health yet. But I would say it probably wasn't a good idea to combine towers early, but that's kind of just what Demon Clippy said. Oh, please. We actually should be pretty good at this, one would think. This should kind of be our jam. Okay. What are we going for? Why are we shooting randomly there? Okay, we're good. Okay, yeah, we healed up for five. Good, gotcha, good, 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 good. All right. I mean, now that we have the active as well, I think we'll be fine. Sin Spotter, construction additional shooty tower. Pull three cards from the collection, reveal two, choose one to add to the deck. Create a Increase garrison units' movement speed. I don't have anything like that. So I think we go for an additional shooty tower, and then we go for this. Reveal two cards. Creates a new bomber garrison. Units do hellfire damage. Sure. I don't know if I have one. It has, like, that aura around it as if maybe that's something useful. Useful to know, perchance, perchance. Yeah, just having a separate tower that can, like... I mean, to be fair, though, they kind of have the same AI. This is your current round, gotcha. The same kind of AI, so they're not really going to be changing targets. Okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Okay, that's a lot of stuff coming in here. 
Guys, split your attention, please. For the love of God. What is going on here, man? <laughs> How am I supposed to... Like, I can't... It's not something I can control, whether or not we are going to be fine here. The only decision, like, the only true decision I could have made that would have made me stronger potentially would have been on wave one so far. That being said, I think we'll be all right. So when these hit, do they, does that count as them dying? Increase hellfire damage, AoE. I don't have any AoE, man. I guess I'll get all that stuff for now. It's None of it's relevant. Like, we, we buffed up a bunch of stuff that maybe we'll get later. That's that's my hope. My hope is that's going to be something we can do later. Curse this randomized... I think maybe that's what it is. Maybe we got, like... Because we have a randomized hero. Okay. Conceptually, I do think, like, a tower defense horde survival kind of a game, like, goes absolutely logically hand in hand. Okay. Oh my god, I'm... I missed. There we go. I have now misplayed. I have now done it. The reason we lost is because we missed the 5 HP there. I mean, this wave is seeming like a joke by comparison, though. Am I wrong? This just seems like nothing compared to the last one. Uh... Sin Spotter, I could get that. Why can't I put down this? Can I only have two towers? Let's see. So I can't play anything else. I could have... No, I couldn't have played combined. I only have three. So theoretically, that's just all I can do for now. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, they're actually kind of firing to the music here. Sort of nice. We can obviously combine these. But why couldn't I... So, if I couldn't play the sniper tower right away, my guess is it's because I didn't have a slot available. But I should be able to combine if I ever get another tower showing up. That being said, we'll see. We'll see if that's going to be good or not. Can I change, um, it'd be good in a game like this to be able to change their priority, you know? That'd be good. I feel like they're maybe supposed to be going to the music. It's, it's just, it fits that well that it might be on purpose. Boom, 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 you know? Okay. Here we go. Combine. Yeah, that's what it is. Sniper... Bomber. I mean, we have the single target. It sounds kind of nice to have the AoE. Oh, look at those little guys. So, we only have two slots. Use these slots for card storage or to place some the same quality cards inside to upgrade them. I actually don't think I care to do that with these. I don't really care that much. Okay, look at these guys going. Okay. Alright. Alright. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, shoot. So we should, like... They heal me for 1% of my health. It has nothing to do with their strength or anything, so... We just want to put this in literally the section that has the most small enemies. We could have could have had that uh, heal us a lot more. Another mistake there, but... It's alright. Things just got a lot better. And now that I understand the uh, the reserve, I wish Clippy that I wish Clippy would have told me about. Then we're all good. I think that we could have uh, kept some stronger stuff for later. Then, but the sin spotter is kind of kind of cracked. Like I can save that. This area can do. Tell me before. <laughs> this area can do a bunch of things. Try placing multiple cards of the same quality and see what happens. Card quality is represented by the color of the border, etc. Yeah. Oops, shouldn't have clicked that one, though. Garrison unit movement speed up does not sound bad. Let's go with this here first. 
increase a new shooter garrison. Units do unholy damage. So if I can't have more than two slots, I feel like we don't need any of that stuff, right? I'll do that. So theoretically, I don't care about the sniper unit at all. We just want to put basically the, the repenters and the sin spotters, I suppose. It's three here. I'll, I'll, I'll take it at 15. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. It might count as them, like, technically dying, though. Maybe. That was good. That healed us for quite a bit. Is this is this it, though? Like, after that, we're, we're good to go? I mean, it is just a prologue here. Conceptually, I really like what's going on here. I do feel uh, quite hamstrung by literally two slots. That being said, I think we can we can make it work because it's sort of weird. We have two slots and then um, oh come on man. I don't think it's worth using this here. We want to be a little bit more tactical with it. Oh no, we're start okay now we start a new gotcha wave. Another sin spotter. It's actually not a bad idea to increase our ability to get it leveled up. Do we get another slot now? Yeah, okay, gotcha. Get an extra tower slot, 20 luck. Okay, exactly what just happened right now has me probably, no joke, three times more excited for this game. Okay, I, I'm way more into it now, immediately. Like, I already liked it. This is understandable. Garrison spawn rate, or, like, this is actually a tough choice. I don't know what luck does conceptually, I can assume, but... I'll do this so that there's actually a reason to have the sniper tower. Come on, there's got to be a section that's going to have more than one enemy. Look at them just vibing. Yeah. Are they going to keep coming from there? Yeah, they just moved too fast that I had to guess. I absolutely just bungled that placement. There we go. No, it was foresight, actually. I wanted that guy. I mean, truthfully, like, I guess the optimal thing would be to put it a little, well, ow. In a way, you want it closer because it's more likely that they will be in it, but it's also less likely that they will die unless, again, them reaching your tower counts as a death, which it may or may not. Oof. Okay. I will say I'm going to play this. AoE of all tower projectiles. I don't know if that counts. Garrison unit damage up. Hellfire damage. They count as hellfire damage. I mean, I, that's free. I might as well. I don't know if that counts as an AoE projectile, right? So that guy just hit... I saw that guy just hit us, and it didn't move my health. So my guess is these guys do about five damage, and then they healed for the five. So that's actually pretty good. All right. Yeah, having a third slot with the deck that we got randomized is going to be way better. It's a bold choice to start off with a randomized deck. I kind of like it. Like... I, I'm sure there's some kind of weight to things so that you're not going to get totally screwed. All right. All right, so I have increased in health over the past, like, tiny little bit, which is nice. Okay, Sin Spot, we can just play two. Increase the damage of all tower projectiles by 20%. Sounds great. Okay, so it, it actually does tell me what things it, uh, it helps with. It's good to know. So the re these Repenters are already a Tier 4. That explains a lot why they're so good already. So it's based off of the color. This is a blue, this is a green. Gotcha. I trust. Oh, it was a good call. Look how many things are over there. Okay, this is absurd. Wait, hold on. 
Why is it just like the third wave of every section is just a monstrous garbage fest? What the hell? What was that? They're all so spread out too. Just, just randomly they hit you with a wave where it's just like, good luck, you have no chance. Uh, are these not same quality? Or place same quality cards inside to upgrade them. Are they not same quality cards? They sh sure both look common to me. All right. Reroll. Oh, you can reroll. Sacrifice these two cards, summon a single card with equal quality. Destroy these cards, freeing them from your deck. Oh, you can also remove. Okay. Again, <laughs> I bet you that was the third part of the tutorial that I accidentally clicked through. Is saying that you can remove cards from your deck permanently. But the thing is, you can't save three cards. That's interesting. You can't save cards and trash cards. But I am... Do I need... In order to combine, do I need three? I need to put three in the reserve? That'd be interesting. The other question I have is, does that count as them being like... Do I only have one copy of each card? Ah. Oh my god. You guys are too strong! Thank you. I kind of want to just spam it, you know, like do it on cooldown, but it's sort of like, ooh. So this is free. There's no reason not to do that. Can I not play this? I mean, like, just to be clear, I can't. Okay. So, oh, you can pull a card into your hand, though. Okay. Just gonna get rid of that for now. Put those away. Repenters, another tier four repenters. That's huge. Okay, that's actually, that's potentially really good. All right, I understand a lot more now. This is really neat. And it kind of takes some of the, uh, I don't know. Feels like with a lot of horde survival games, there's like this feeling that you have a lot of control over things when really you have about this much control over things. And this kind of just lets you be free to do the things you want to do, which is kind of just watch the destruction, strategize a little bit. I like that I, you know, you have the ability to potentially get actives, but if you're not into that, you could just not pick those things. That's another option. Okay. Hell, if I can get two, I'm, I'm just too strong. I'm killing them before they even get to the circle, even if I put them right here. All right, so does three combine? Okay, three in order to combine. Oh, interesting, okay. That's not what I anticipated that would do. I thought that that would let me combine them like this. Gotcha. So I'm actually... I'm actually stuck with a... Uh, huh. When it said combine... I mean, maybe that that's upgraded to a Sin Spot or Tier 2, and it's kind of like an auto-battler, like a um, Hearthstone's Battleground or something like that, where it's like, here's a treasure of a higher level... And then it also upgrades it, so the next time I get this, it'll be a a green. I'm not sure if that's the case, though. No, it looks like it actually just deleted it from my deck, right? Interesting. Well, I'm happy to play that. I don't know that this counts as a projectile. So I'm going to go ahead and just trash this. 
That might be a projectile. I don't think so. It's not really a tower. It's a garrison, isn't it? Tower range seems fine already. I feel like I'm just going to trash this, so I'm more likely to get better stuff. I'd rather take a 1% attack speed. It's amazing how much uh, control they actually do give you over your deck. Silly. Please. Oh, that was such a good section up there, though. Okay. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Okay. Here comes the chaos part. I'm trying. Okay. I'm at 188.5. What? All right. Thank you. So that's a legendary Repenters now. That sounds good. Am I getting rid of the sniper? Like, at this point, why why would I bother? I mean, I could get a sniper instead of the Sin Spotter. But it does what kind of damage? The sniper does holy damage as well. Alright. The re-roll option is also very intriguing. I think we might be, like, dead here, though. This is a little, like, bonkers. Yeah, I, th I think I'm dead there. It's just kind of crazy. In the full game, you'll be able to unlock upgrades. Oof. New cards, characters with special abilities, and nine circles of hell to fight in. Okay, so there's going to be meta progress in the full game, it sounds like. It's okay. Get out of my face, dude. I do want to give it another shot now that I understand a little bit better from the get-go. Uh, so do we start... I mean, I'll, I'll put down... Well, the thing is, it feels weird to play this one. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these... try something different we'll, we'll sack that we'll play both of these and then we individually and then save the sniper okay it's interesting like so you have to move really quickly in the card phase too because if you take two dude spread your shots out yeah the fact that there's two is actually never mind i changed my mind it's actually irrelevant two times damage 1.5 times attack speed on one tower instead of one and one. It would have to be 2x, 2x for it to be worth it. It is two towers, two tier ones is better than a tier two, but the reason a tier two is because you obviously get extra space. Their accuracy is so bad too though, man. I'm wondering if the deck even is random. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, slightly. Increase AoE of all tower projectiles. Can these gain AoE? Is that the thing? Can these, can these gain AoE? I assumed it needed to be an AoE projectile for it to gain AoE, but maybe that's the secret cap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, gain AoE. Okay, there we go. Or, which means we can do one of these. Flame aura, burning all enemies that enter for 60 seconds. Sounds good. Punish, increase tower range by 5%. I'll, I'll get that so that I'll play it with the... Um, with the, the sniper. Okay, so now I have like a damaging spell. It's not that, not that high of damage. Burning all enemies that enter for 60 seconds. So it's not really a thing to put this close. It does stay for a long time, though. That is the appealing part of it there. It's crazy how imbalanced some of the waves are, you know? Like, 
is like this huge stretch of just absolute jack squat. And then they, yeah, like this, where he, my towers are just firing in a circle going like, I don't know, dude. Oh god. Turn off the speed. There we go. The sniper is a garrison, but it doesn't need movement speed. Yeah, see this... It's the third wave again. There's something about the third wave that's really weird. Just like, eh, let's go crazy for this one. Such an arbitrary number. That guy just walked into the lava and died. Yeah, this ain't gonna go well. Okay, so we have one. I'll keep that. I feel like is 5% for three mana, like, worth casting? Maybe not. It lasts for so long, I think maybe we just are supposed to spam it. Like, there's a lot of, like, can you be tactical with it? Sort of. If we got, like, an active that was more of a nuke ability, it'd be easier to be tactical with it. Right now, I'm like, you have to put it in a spot that you, that you hope is going to be a logically effective thing. Oh my god. Wait, what? Clone a card. Sure. Place same quality cards inside to upgrade them. Interesting. That aspect doesn't seem to be a thing. I mean, being able to zoom out is something. I could do that in advance. That's really all that changes. Use these slots for card storage or place same quality cards inside to upgrade them. But yeah, I think it's just like upgrading them doesn't mean what you what it sounds like it would mean. And I have a waste of mana here. At this point... Eh. Okay, so if I get another slot, I can get an upgrade of the Sin Spotter still. Okay. I'm going to keep on trying to play around with that one.
Sure. I mean, we're probably like, gonna be dead here pretty soon. Okay. Please, thank you. Increase on holy crit chance. Pull the next card from your deck and make it free. Hmm. I think just more attack speed for now. Frankie fast hands. 200% extra damage. Tower though, not garrison. I think we take the extra slot if we even have. If we don't have it now, I do intend to like sack some stuff so that we can get another one. Feels like the zoom is probably something they should tell you about as well. The reason that made me, like, the, the time that I actually was like, okay, well, I guess I should maybe zoom out and even see what this is about. See if we can zoom out is because of the snipers, you know? They were shooting off screen. I was like, what? It says AOE for this. Whether or not that actually... Okay. <laughs> what the actual hell is that, man? Oh, my God. Crazy. Did you know I have a quota fail? If you don't wish this the game soon, I might get fired. Well, I'm so sorry, my friend. I I'm going to give it one more shot, but... Yeah, it seems like it's going to be the kind of thing where you're supposed to have some Metaprog stuff going on. We got to completely... Wow, look at this. Uh, maybe we should just go for Garrison. Maybe that would be interesting. Judgment Tower. Or we have... Wait, we could play both of these. Oh, that's kind of, that's kind of fun. That's what I think... Let's re-roll... The rock is just like, it, it, it's a free card. Of all tower projectiles. I mean, it's. Okay. It's like a big old laser sword. Interesting, interesting. A beam of holy light. I mean, yeah. I'd like to. I'd like to know. Did that work? It increased the judgment tower thing. So I'm gonna say screw that then. Oh man. Only one does hellfire damage. I don't know if this has attack speed. I don't know if they, if either of them have attack speed. Range applied to both of them. Whether or not it actually did anything, I'm not sure. Interesting. We actually have a little bit more autonomy over that one. Covers a lot. Does this count? It 
counted for judgment, which is the spike balls. All right. Works for me. Maybe it's attack speed might impact the the speed at which the balls spin. We don't want to have it up too close because then it's like they're not going to die by then anyways. That was what I was wanting. So the Sunder can get impacted by it. I feel like the range is weird. I feel like it's a really weird one for this set. I'd like to be able to actually upgrade them. I don't know if they I don't know if I can. All right. You can hit him pretty far away. I don't really, I don't have the slots for it, so we'll just take another thing. I guess. Increase the balls. So when they hit something, they start spinning to the other side. Right? Seems it, yeah. This. Just gonna keep on sacrificing these rocks. Tower range could be okay. I need something to cast. This counts as a projectile. They both count as projectiles. That's good. This is a lot. Spikes bouncing is pretty funny. They actually seem like they might be the only one of the only answers to that. Yeah. I really wish we could combine them into a tier two here. Like I really wish that. The phrasing on it is a bit strange. So I, I do want to keep these so that we, um, when we get another tower slot, we can actually get that up to tier three. Okay. Big spike balls might actually go kind of crazy here. Okay, who the hell is that? That was a different boss. Another can we get a second holy beam? I gotta know. Can we have two? Give me the tower slot. We already have like a reason to get excited about it. We, we wouldn't know if we get another holy beam in for a little bit. Chaos. So what we do is we play the judgment, play the judgment, combine the judgment, save the sunder. Okay. And then hope we get another sunder and go absolutely wild. Uh-oh. 
Not good. Okay, so hold on. Here we play Judge or Sunder Sunder Combine. Save the judgments. We don't really need the bigger. Uh, now we can't get another... Like, we can't go up to blue unless we went all in on one type of tower. I think we're done, Zo. The beam of light it seems pretty legit, though. Yeah, that is... That's madness. I do want a third tower, but that's kind of that's in order to get our things up to blue. That's what we needed to do. Another holy beam sounds good, but I think I'll take the tier two. Okay, more spike balls. More laser beam. Probably should have put it further away. Probably. It covers lots of ground, because the thing is, the further up this way, the more you cover, like, this ground. Which is really appealing. Oh, two times recharge speed. Gotcha. Not much of a region to have that. Oh, we're going down. Just trying to mostly solve the sides there. I think we need to put it up further, though. want to sack that. The Hellfire damage is not our most exciting damage. We're going to want to try and maybe use that to get ourselves a blue card at some point here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here it is. Nothing I can do, dude. Can't get up to the other tier. We don't even have holy. Gives it would give me an equal quality at this point. I'm just gonna give it a shot though. Yeah. That ain't it. That ain't it. Not gonna it's not gonna save us. Wild. Surprisingly even damage distribution considering we had extra stuff. That was almost the high score, but. We have a whole bunch of credits to put into what will certainly be uh, the meta progress they're talking about to make the game easier. One of those, but alas, uh, very cool concept. I really like it. I wish my thing. I, I wish I could combine towers. I, I don't know. It's something you would have to just get used to. I wish I could combine towers in the reserve. You know, if you put two of the same quality tower, koala, <laughs> same quality tower in the reserve. If you could combine it up to the next tier, so you could then you know, get your greens up to blues without having a whole empty uh, wasted slot. Like that kind of a thing. But, yeah, it's just, it seems like as of right now without that, like, meta progress stuff you're going to get unless you get maybe some really good upgrades and things like that. Or maybe you find, uh, like, a really strong combo with, like, the 200% damage upgrade or something. Uh, it seems like you probably have just kind of, like, a very clear... Uh, finite death point for the time being, but it's a cool game. I, I enjoy it. I'm curious to see where they take it, and I'm mostly just happy that they're taking this genre in an actual different direction, you know? Instead of just being like, how do I make the same thing, but I get the money, you know? It's not that. It's not that, and it's clear, and that is quite cool. Excuse me? <laughs> but last, last, that is that. That's gonna do it here for today. 
Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.